Okay, we are back from our last trip for the next seven months. Um, we had a handling time of seven days, and this is the stuff that's old. Here is a Rowenta, very fancy iron. I believe it was new, never used. Um, although people sell these for cheap. You can buy them new for over $100, uh, which is crazy, right? But um, this I sold for $40. This is a little miniature hand-painted Delft plate for like a dollhouse. Really cute. And it sold for $19. This is a beautiful vintage super thick wool blanket um, that we got in Amsterdam. We actually got two matching ones for five euro uh, last year. You can see it's got this gorgeous label on it. Um, they are a little bit worn, you can see, and we were willing to take offers when we're away, so this sold for $40. This is a random set of vintage utensils, uh, primitives, stuff like that. Um, the lady that wanted to buy these just wanted to buy this ladle, and we didn't want to break up the set, so we gave her a deal, and we sold it all for $18. Okay, this is a vintage Revereware pan, but the funny thing about it is, it's very little. It's basically for a dollhouse. Again, another little dollhouse thing. Um, and this sold for 20 bucks. This is a vintage Dansk brand, Coben style is what it's called, a baking dish. It's got these beautiful handles. Uh, it's got some scratch marks there. You can see the logo there. And we sold this for a uh, best offer of $45. This is a lovely vintage uh, jersey knit. Um, I do believe it's polyester knit, kind of flowy fabric. Uh, it's got a cool pattern, nice color. It's three yards, so that's a nice amount for making something curtains. Or something like that and it sold for $30. This is a lot of three matching same size long sleeve uh, park ranger shirts. No patches or anything like that. Just plain kind of work shirts and these three sold for $50. These are a pair of super worn out Birkenstocks but you know what some people like that look. They want them already worn out so they can wear them just kicking around, not brand new. And these sold for $30. Pretty amazing. These are a pair of Johnson & Murphy uh, men's woven loafers. And they're in okay shape, actually. These are expensive shoes, so... Um, these sold for 60 bucks. This is a very nice men's army jacket in woodland camo. It's got patches got cool patches and it sold for $60. These are a pair of Betula by Birkenstock uh, little flip-flops and we got these in Amsterdam last year and they sold for $25 and they had so many watchers for like four months and no one ever bought them and then someone finally did for 25 bucks. This is a brand new true German Oktoberfest skirt in linen and cotton. It's got beautiful like pewter buttons with leather and antler buttons also. Totally gorgeous. We found it at our local thrift store along with a bunch of other Oktoberfest stuff. It was five dollars and I took a best offer of eighty-five dollars. These are a pair of new never worn Cole Haan uh, women's driving moccasins. You can see they've never been worn, and we sold them for $80. This is a beautiful L.L. Bean men's 100% cotton shirt. Quite beautiful. Uh, looks like it's barely been worn, and it sold for $25. Bucks. Vintage pair of L.L. Bean main hunting boots. You can see the label there. Very distressed, very worn, very trendy right now. Um, we took a pretty low offer on these. I think we had them up for like 70. We took an offer of 40 because we were hungry to sell on one day. So 40 bucks sold to a designer in New York. 
This is a beautiful vintage curly wool plaid women's coat with a kind of wraparound scarf that's included. And this sold for $90. This coat actually sold to the same person. He is at a theater company, so I'm assuming it's for some plays for the winter. Um, and this is an L.L. Bean. This is a suede collar and it's a nice wool check pattern, you can see. And this sold for $86. This is a nice pair of women's Joan and David loafer pumps, Joan and David, leather soles, and they sold for $50. Now the funny thing about these shoes is uh, both of us could not find them in our storage. So I looked again, I dumped out a whole bin of shoes, looked through every single one, couldn't find them. Looked through all the pumps, every color, still couldn't find them. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to look back in the loafer bin again, which is where they should be, uh, and dump out all the shoes again and look at them one by one. I still couldn't find them. And then Jay came in while I was uh, finishing up this, dumping out this bin. I put everything back, I walked to another bin to look through. And he looks down at the bin, and he goes, are these, are these the shoes? And he picks them up. <laughs> and they were just right there. I don't know why I was looking right past them the whole time. I don't know why that happens, but um, here they are. These are a pair of women's uh, cowboy boots. They're Landis brand. Pretty worn out, but uh, they have a cool look. Sold to someone in New York City. And we took a best offer of $50. This is a cool vintage trucker hat that sold. Um, this place is up in Northwest Territory, Canada. Um, so it's a pretty specialized patch. It sold for $30 global shipping, and I think it's to someone in Canada. This is a vintage women's isotoner uh, fedora hat, kind of a winter hat, and it sold for 20 bucks. This is a hunter's hat from some kind of club in our area. Super, super country looking. And it sold to someone in New York City, again, uh, for $30. This is a vintage Levi's belt buckle with a belt. Now you can buy these new, like the reproduction ones, but I'm pretty sure this one is from the 70s. Um because it is not made in China, it's made in the USA. So, this sold for $60. These are a pair of women's equestri equestrian riding boots. Um, they are very fancy, very fancy brand. They're like the stiff leather. It's like super, uh, you can't see any of that. Uh, yeah, they're worth a lot of money, even used. And these sold for $175. And I hope, hope, hope that they fit this person and they keep them. I'm not super into uh, comic books or superheroes or anything like that, but I did think this was a cool Spider-Man hat. Uh, we actually got three of them from the same place. For some reason, there was three of them. And this was the first one that sold for $25. This is a very cool handmade piece of artwork. It's raffia. It's like this natural fiber with this needlework, and then this is like this thick raffia. Um, very cool. It's got some marks. I've had it for a long time. I had it listed for $120, and I got an offer of $65, so we said yes to $65. This is the pair of Paint by Numbers that we talked about on the podcast. They're landscape scenes. They're framed with glass. Um, now that I'm looking at them, they're really quite beautiful. And they sold for $100. Pretty nice sale. This is a print of uh, a part of Finland, but it's in German. <clears throat> and it's like a wood cutting. Uh, it's got some marks and some age, but it is signed by someone. Um, I don't think that I was able to figure out what the name was. But it's definitely a cool piece, and it's framed in glass, and we took an offer of $75. This is a vintage antique rug. It is wool, it is handmade, 
it has lots of wear as you can see it is four by four so it's not huge but it's a nice size and I had it up for 500 and it sold for 225 so I'm happy with that I think I bought it for twenty dollars this is another small rug that sold it is handmade in Ecuador it's all wool um, it's got these orchids on it which is pretty cool and yes it's very nice handmade and we took an offer of fifty dollars on this this is the Yamaha Porta Sound keyboard that I sold to someone in Australia not in the global shipping program and it sold for sixty five dollars this is the Bell and Howell eight millimeter projector in the case um, it looks barely used it has the paperwork it has a, a take up reel and the bulb works as well so we sold this for a hundred and twenty dollars this is a cute little Dutch Delft tile I did not get it in Amsterdam uh, but we do find them a lot in the States and this one sold for thirty dollars this is another one of those vintage berets or a Tam O'Shanter um, it is Scottish very cool and it sold for forty dollars on our new store that's it for this week see ya bye